It's been a long time since keeping up with the Kardashian star Kim ended her more than six years of long, beautiful marriage with rapper Kanye West. The news of their divorce broke a lot of fans' hearts. However, there are a lot of ups and downs that came in between their loving relationship. But what really went wrong and how the split couple is moving on with their lives? Find out everything about Kim and Kanye's relationship and more in today's video. This all started back on January 5th, 2021, when a source drops a detailed report that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting divorced, with many other sources confirming that divorce is coming. And Kim had hired attorney Laura Wasser. A source has also claimed that Kanye is totally over the entire family and finds the Kardashian star unbearable. The couple had been participating in marriage counseling for quite some time before they actually split up. Those who've been following Kimye for a long time must know that back in 2019, they were having conflicting opinions on the parenting of their four kids. During her appearance on the American TV show The Talk, she mentioned that Kanye is more inclined toward following a very strict approach in parenting, while Kim doesn't agree to it at all. Well, in January 2021, after many hours, a news source confirms that Kim and Kanye are done. Kim just hasn't filed yet. Kim Kardashian wants to make the suitable decision for her kids. Things became so bad that they have been seen together as a married couple for many months. They have been living separately and only see each other for their kids' sake. Kim knows that she is now single, and the Kardashian star is known for a while. In the meantime, many other sources started talking about the couple's divorce. The People's Insider claimed Kanye is sad but fine, and that Kimmy had gone through a big fight back in early December. According to sources, Kanye was always invited to the birthday party. Kim was thinking that he wants to do his own celebration. She had no issue with him visiting Kylie's house and was glad that the kids would get some time to see them together. Also, the sources said that Kim wants to move on in peace. And while the rest of the kids' family still likes and wants him around, they also want Kim to move on with her life and be at peace. Kim is hopeful that they may have a more disciplined schedule and that Kanye would follow it. After a long, stressful weekend and a misunderstanding concerning the Chicago's birthday party, a source said later on in January 18th, 2022, that Kim hopes for a quick resolution to the divorce and that she just wants to put that chapter behind her. Things became intense during this month as a result of confusions related to West's birthday party in Chicago, which Kanye, who is currently dating actress Julia Fox, first claims he wasn't invited to. He later appears at the party and is hanging out with Kris Jenner. After that, Kim took to Instagram and talked about Kanye's frequent attacks on her in a lengthy story on February 4th, 2022, in an unusual move. Ye then took to the app and posted about how he should deal with his eldest child, Northwest, who is being on TikTok without his will. And Kim seemed to have had enough. Kim replied to Ye's post on an Instagram story saying, Kanye's constant attacks on me on social media and in interviews is actually more harmful than whatever TikTok Northwest might create and I am doing everything I can to guard our daughter as the primary caretaker and provider for our children, while also allowing her to express her creative personality in whatever media she likes with guardian care, because it gives her happiness. She further said separation is painful enough for my children, and Kanye's activities with trying to operate and control her condition in such a bad and public way is simply adding more to their suffering. I have wished for a good and helpful co-parenting relationship since the beginning, and it makes me sad that Kanye continues to make it hard at every turn, because it's what's best for our children. Things became nasty a few hours later in the afternoon, when Kanye reacted to Kim's reaction with a storm of allegations and charges. He then took to Instagram and shared a screenshot of Kim's story, saying, What do you mean by a main provider? You tried to kidnap my daughter on her birthday party and failing to provide the address. And while I was playing with my son in the house, you placed a security on me. You then claimed a charge of stealing on me. And because you accused me of being on drugs, I had to take a drug test after that party. Stop manipulating Kim to be this way, Tracy Romulus. Another day, Kanye took on Instagram after the text message with Pete Davidson in March 2022, talking about the fact that he does not get a chance to see his children. Kim replied on the post and said, You were just here this morning picking up the kids for school, so please stop with this story. According to TMZ, Kanye hired an attorney to prepare a legal contract with Kim relating to the custody of their four children as there was none in position. Pete was compelled to intervene and defend Kim against Kanye due to the constant back and forth between the two exes. Pete allegedly texted Ye and then deleted screenshots uploaded on Pete's friend's Instagram account stating, Can you please calm down? It's 8am and it doesn't have to be this way. Kim is the most amazing mom I have ever met. 
her efforts for her children are incredible, and you are really fortunate to have her as your children's mother. I have decided that you cannot treat us like this, and I'm no longer going to be quiet. Grow up. Well, according to another source at Us Weekly, Pete jumped in because he couldn't watch Kanye throwing Kim under the pressure anymore. Pete and Kim are still being harassed, and Pete is fed up with Kim being depicted as the bad person. Pete was adamant about not texting Kanye, but he was pushed to the brink. According to E! News, Kim got an official permission by court to change her legal marriage status to single after virtually appearing in court on March 2nd. Kim always wanted to keep the divorce process private, but Kanye did not accept this, and soon things got more worse, causing emotional distress to Kim. Kim told Ellen DeGeneres in a recent interview that she's attempted to maintain a high level of decency in her interactions with Kanye, because she wants to avoid any bad scenario for her children. My mom and dad have always set such a good example as a couple, so I'm always optimistic. And regardless of whatever happens, he's the father of my children. I will always be caring about my children. And I want my children to see the finest of all. So at times it can be difficult. I try to ignore it and do what is in favor of my kids. According to sources close to Kim, she doesn't want anything ugly to happen. But if things between Kim and I don't improve, she might take more serious actions. Kanye was recently handed a one-day suspension on Instagram, which began on March 16th. During that period, Ye's account was still active, but he couldn't post anything on his greater story, nor could he send DMs or comment on posts. He was suspended for infringing policies on the hate talk, annoyance, and bullying. But what are your thoughts on the relationship timeline? Let us know in the comments below. With that, it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will be back with more amazing celebrity videos. See you soon. Till then, be safe and stay well.